it's me, PT, and we're in the nether. Today, we are going to light that TNT on fire and get some netherite and make more armor. And then we're going to go um, to that place where they have uh, the nether guardians and stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Not like that. Eventful and successful. We got <clears throat> 20 ancient debris and a whole bunch of gold. We're gonna smelt it and we're gonna make armor and then we're gonna enchant the armor with the dude bros that we built last time. Yeah, that's what we're doing. And then we're gonna go on a short adventure and then probably get back to building because that's who I am now. Just a lady who builds things and stuff. Yeah. Okay, I have done all of the preliminary things. I've got tons of netherite. Uh, I'll show you. Hold on. Hold. Wait. Just, just don't go anywhere. Um, check it out. Look at all that netherite. It's extra. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm happy about that. So now, now we have to get very, very brave and, uh, Go to an underwater sea temple, city temple place. <sighs> I happen to know exactly where one is, so we're just gonna go ahead and go to that. Look at, look at, I put roofs on. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Okay, so up over here, where the gunpowder farm is, there's a temple. See it? You see it? All right, oh, look at that. Uh huh. It's uh. <laughs> Holy night. Really scary is what it is. Alright, so if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a major sissy. So I once again went ahead and called on our good friend Heroes Bob. Hello, 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 everybody. Um, he's gonna help us and make it rain on the bottles so these are for you oh thank you that's really nice if you chug them it'll give you extra healing power healing power of honey then let me put my yeah oh um you like that no you don't you don't like that i I, no, I didn't. I didn't like that at all. You need to chuck some too. Get it down the hatch. Oh. oh my gosh. You know, they really could have picked a better sound effect for this. Ew. You just burped. I heard you. You ready to go? I'm ready. Alright. Hero, take the wheel. Can I shoot them with my bow? Uh, yeah, if you're close enough. Alright. Got your back. Literally. Alright. What about here? Down we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Good job. <sighs> okay, surround it with honey. Surround what with honey? Where? The TNT block I just placed. Where, where do you place the TNT block? Ow! Oh, man. Okay, this is right not... There. 
I'm getting beat up. Ow! So am I. Ow! Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm about to die. Come back up here. I am. I'm dying. I'm going to die though. In the boat. I lost the boat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that didn't go well, hero. Well, first of all, I forgot to put my chest plate on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll actually try to stay with you this time and not be a coward. Right, here we go. Stay right behind me. Okay. Did you did you get that surrounded by honey? Yes. All right. So we're gonna blow we're gonna blow through it right now. Okay. So don't get don't get don't don't get too close. Okay. <laughs> oh lordy. Wee. Scared. All right, go in the hole. Come down here in the hole. Ow. <laughs> Die. Die. Oh. So try to get a, a smack in and then go around. I can't swim. I put a door down if you need air. Okay. Ow. All right, got him. <gasps> That's amazing. Okay, now what? All right, let's get out of here. Go, go to the other one. I don't know why I'm swimming so slowly. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. All right, get ready. Flee. Ready. Go. Hey, door's down. Ow, ow. Awesome. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm trying, trying to save you. I'm dead. Round two. Fight. Actually, round three, I guess. Fight. All right, so this one we're gonna go right in the top hole. Okay. <laughs> Spoosh. Damn. Get out of here. Ow. Smack. Good. Ow. All right, fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Ow. All right, going under. Smack. I'm out of doors. I'm stuck somehow. Come on. Smack. Uh oh. He got he got out in the open. That's not good. Oof. Out in the open is not good. What do we do now? We just gotta try to take him out. Oh gracious. Okay, I don't see him anywhere. I don't know how far out to go. I feel like he wouldn't leave. Right? He loves his house. Mm -hmm. I don't see him, hero. I think he's gone. Alright, I'm gonna jump out. Ah, he went inside the pyramid. Found him. Oh, what? Where? Um, oh, I was supposed to kill that one, you. Sorry. Okay. I didn't, I didn't mean to kill him. That's okay. Ow! Ow! That was eventful. <laughs> Alright. And after all that hard battle, Hero Spun and I just decided to do some mining and enjoy some great conversation. You want some sponges? Yeah. What do you do with sponges? You can uh, dry up anything wet. You left your door ajar. Thanks. Ah! I'm in danger. I'm in very serious danger. Hi. Thank you for your help again. Oh, you're welcome. What would I do without you? Mm, you'd be okay. I don't you'd know. You'd get by. You'd get by. You're oh. pretty capable. Probably not. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. Well, the next thing I want to do in this village is get some shops made. I think. We've got our little, all of our apartments up over here. We've got our road coming in this way. But let's go ahead and get the road kind of, excuse me, yoink. Get the road going a little bit more this direction. We can sort of 
move things out. I want to start building the first little shops. So I feel like that will be the most exciting part. So I'm going to put probably the butcher shop. And the stonemason little shop kind of together. And what are you? You're a fisherman. You could put a fish shop in too, but that would probably have to be over like down towards the water a little bit. And we want to focus more on this area. We're going to kind of bring the road out here. Eh. So that it will eventually kind of hook up to this road. Maybe going diagonally because I'm really smart and built this on a diagonal. She's so smart. Okay, let's get the road filled in. And then we'll get to build in the butcher shop. Yeah. I have decided that this is going to be the shopping district over here right in front of the little the little park but instead of having the shops go like right here facing this way because i feel like that would be kind of difficult and it would waste a lot of the space over here what we're gonna have instead is have the shops and the storefronts go this way doing alleyways almost <gasps> kitties hi Look, guys. Kitties! Uh, cool. Anyway, uh, to have them kind of facing alleyways, like going going this way. And then so they'll have their, like, shop, shopping, shoppersons right here. And then they'll have, like, their storefronts kind of out here where people can stop by and just, like, buy the crud that they're selling. I think that makes a lot of sense. Or at least it will once it's all built. Gosh, there are so many iron golems around here. And they're so scary. Hi. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, do that. Do Doing things. That's what we do. Things and stuff. Yep. Oh! My gosh, look at this gang of babies. <laughs> look at the gaggle of babies. Oh. What? <laughs> There's so many. Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> look at your little feet. That is, that's too much. Oh, you're jumping on my bed. Can I jump with you? Let's jump together. Yeah. <laughs> I fell. Anyway, thanks. That was fun. Okay, bye. Oh, uh, hi. Okay, bye. Well, I made this whole building. And I've decided that I hate it. Don't judge me. I'm going to tear the whole thing down. It just is not doing what I want it to do. It just isn't. And that's okay. So now we're going to tear it all down. Watch me do that real quick. mistake with this was such a rookie mistake that I'm embarrassed that it even happened. Shame on me. Shame. So I'm going to keep the footprint of this. I did not give these buildings a foundation. Therefore, they just looked, well, dumb. They look dumb. So we're going to go with that foundation. Because those are important. Since I already kind of know where I want my plants, that makes life a little bit easier here. 
And I think instead of trying to do both buildings at once, I'm going to start with just... We're just going to do one building at a time. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. What do I know? I just live here. Okay. Finish the foundation. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, foundation done. Now for the wood. Now, I was using the spruce wood plank, but here's the deal. It's kind of uggo. I don't love it. But we have it, and we've got a lot of it. What if we used oak and spruce? Huh? So we did a little bit of, like, a little bit of this action here. Check this out. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Over, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we want to strip it. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! It's gonna be a little bright, but I don't hate it. That's all the oak I have. Well, I have one more. I think, and I kind of I want this to be tall enough. So that we can give the illusion that that guy lives here. Does he live here? No. I don't know. Maybe. Shoot. I'm not his boss. Maybe he does live here. I just want to give the illusion that he does. Just in case. You know? Just on the off chance that he wants to. Okay. Okay. We have the general, the general shape here. It's a good shape. I like this shape. Huh. Check it. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yes. And see, this already looks better. It does. And then it will look even better, better when I add more things to it. Okay. There. I think. I think. I do. I think. Um. Also, I'm not sure if the villagers will be able to, like, love that if that those walls are there. Anyways. Excuse me. Anyway. There, we put two smokers right there. And then we put two fires right there. Yes, and that's the best. Yep, mm-hmm. It's, yes. I like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, you know, the chimney doesn't look the way I wish that it did look. But you know what? It's really old, and uh, it has to support two smokers. So it needs to be able to you know support that so it's very important that it is big and tall and and supportive um and already already you guys i am liking this way more than i did before i am and there's a part of me like maybe maybe we don't put a door maybe it's just an open shop front you know Maybe that's what it is. It's just an open shop front. And then maybe this is the only spot over here that has the door because this is where all the uh, <clears throat> dressing of the animals happens. Um, Don't question the horse. The horse, I just I just liked it and wanted it to be in there. Um, don't think too much on that, okay? But I think that that's, that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah, we don't close it up all the way. We leave it kind of, kind of like this. I mean, obviously we put a roof over it and like maybe like a little like cellars tent type doodad ba -doo -ba -doo right there. Maybe, I don't know, but yeah, nothing too extreme, nothing too fantastic. So let's just go ahead and get that finished up and then we can work on that. And this whole video won't be completely wasted by you watching me uh, build stuff and then take it down. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I did it. It's done. Look at that. Wow. P.T.'s Meat Emporium. Yeah, this is way better than the other iteration. Um, I mean, it still isn't like totes perfect, but it's significantly better and I'm happy with it. This is... Yeah, we're going with this. I dig it. Yeah, dude. All right, let's go inside. Check it out. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so we go under this little... uh hanging doodad here isn't that nice look at that let me go in here and you got a little table you got some lights up there and these are going to be shelves but 
I'm not smart enough to figure that out. Gosh darn it. But look at all the stuff that's for sale in here. Isn't that cool? Look at that. So cool. And then, of course, you got the smokers. And someday, maybe, someone will come in here and want to work in here. Maybe two someones. I don't know. Shoot. All right. Now, let's start this one. Let's just start it. We obviously want it to be, want it to start here at the same, same thing, right? Same, same, same. But we want it to be about twice as big because this is where the, uh, once again, the dressing of the animals go. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. All right, look at that. Not too shabby, I think. I do indeed. Hey. Well, obviously, this is where uh this is where the meat is prepared for the butcher shop. And there's like a little refrigerator here. We've got a little freezer, we've got a sink, we've got a blast furnace. Um, with no chimney, we're not going to think about that too hard. No, no, we're not. Um, yeah. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's simple, but I think that it, it gets the point across, you know? We are going to do a little bit of landscaping now. I kind of picture this area to be, like, a bit gross. You know what I mean? Like, ah. Uh, I'm almost picturing like, you know, the medieval, the medieval market, where it's like a little bit muddy, it's a little bit gray, but obviously this is a bit more like sunshine and rainbows over here. Look at all their guards. Look at them. There's so many of them. So we're going to do a little bit of landscaping. We're going to make like a little throughway here. This is meant to be for them to go on foot. That's what I'm thinking. We're going to take take it all the way down here. All the way down. Perfect. Beautiful. And we're going to take all of this grass out, too. So, through this process, I have really learned that it is helpful to have an idea before you start. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Okay. So, we've got some dirt. Let's put that there. And obviously fill these in. Okay. Okay. So the, we have we have podsol, and I will get more podsol as I go here. But I just want it to be sort of like I know it's supposed to be like a pine needles type thing, but I don't really want it to be pine needles at the moment. I want it to be podsol. I was just gonna do it one, but I think two. I think two layers looks better. I'm going to need more podsol. Look at this. See? Do you see my vision? It's going to look good. We're done. That's it. I love it. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. We'll do this too. <gasps> yeah. Oh, cool. Well, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm done for the day. And don't worry. All the adventures that we went on earlier today do have a point. I just uh, haven't gotten there yet, but they will. They will have a point. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. We're going to use the blocks that we put our lives at risk for. Okay, we will. Because it was really scary. And those blocks are also really pretty. And I want to build something really cool with them. I just haven't figured out what yet. Um, I also need your opinion. Originally, I was going to put like a little apartment building right here in this space, but now I'm kind of wondering if I should just make more duplexes or if I should build like a small house. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Give me your thoughts. Give me your opinions. But thank you so much for joining me today on this day of days. I had a lot of fun. It was a lot of great fun. It really was. I enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. And, uh, are you stuck? Let me help. There you go. Excuse me. Excuse me! Thank you. And I hope that today is the best day ever for you. And I hope that if it's nighttime, you go to bed and you have wonderful dreams. Uh, thank you so much! I'll see you again next week!
Bye.